Kirk Alexander. Christopher Bray. Ashley Brewer. Laura Badebo. How do you say that? Oh, Badebo. So much easier when you say it. And here's another one, Annette Ravatin. Thank you. Uh, uh, and uh, here, here, and you're here, and Jose Manzano Avila. Good afternoon. All right, so we have three of you here, and you're here with him. Okay, you don't want a ticket of your own? Okay, just, just wanted to check. All right, you're here on the infraction calendar for the city of Ording which means you're here for one of two types of hearings. The first type is a contested hearing. That means the, the, that you didn't do it and the city can't prove it hearing. The second type of hearing is we call a mitigation. That's the I did it, but calendar. I did it, but I'm here to explain my circumstances and hope that my fine can be reduced. So those are two types of calendars. And let me see, uh, we have a mitigation, mitigation and a contested hearing. All right, so anyone in the courtroom who has not done one before and who does not have a commercial driver's license, in other words, you're not a commercial truck driver, you can do what we call a deferred finding. A deferred finding, you pay 175, you have no tickets for one year, and your case is dismissed. It never goes on your record, doesn't affect your insurance. So you can make that determination when you come in and Okay, Laura, you're here for a mitigation hearing. Go ahead and come up to this table right here. And just so you know, you do qualify for a deferred finding, which means you pay 175, but in your instance, it's only a six months deferral because it's your first ticket. If you wanted to do that, it doesn't go on your record and you have time to pay if you needed it. You wanna do that? All right, so we're gonna speeding. We're gonna make a deferred finding, 175, no tickets for six months. I'm dismissing your case. Uh, as soon as you sign this, two, two, and you can make a, you can call and make arrangements to pay um, because we don't have a clerk today. She's right here. <laughs> All right, and Annette, go ahead and come forward. Okay, so it says uh, you didn't have insurance on the data ticket. Did you have insurance? Do you have proof of it, please? Okay, so show me proof and hopefully we can dismiss that one. And that was as of 220, 220 of 2022. <coughs> um, this is the insurance form. This is an acquisition abandoned or secured property form. You're what? But there's no information on this as an empty. Okay, but I need to have proof of the insurance. That, that's not proof of insurance. It tells me that the time period for which your it, the little card issued by the state of Washington, it tells you. Yeah, but that's not for a court purpose. It's not insured. That's not proof of insurance. It's not insurance. Okay. Um, tell me about the tab issue. Okay. 
So I think I was already running. I just kept in. I wasn't going to say it, but I did that for an hour. And so then it was like, well, right in my home, I got to go back. I didn't feel like I was starting. You know, I just didn't know. I didn't get infected. I didn't even look at the gap. All right. All right. Based on the information provided, I'm a, as the no insurance, I do have to make the fine if committed. I will reduce the fine down to two hundred dollars on the failure to renew license. The failure to renew the expired tabs. Excuse me. It's a great. Oh, the gallery card is cheaper. Right? Now he knows Cardinal, though, and he knows that she admitted she did, uh, Steve Murray, who was the government, that gave $120 to this girl to do the tab. She didn't do it. I overheard it like a couple weeks prior to that, but I didn't get attention, but I assumed there was tabs on it. And so she you know, got him this nightmare, but she can't prove that he didn't get him and her car on the line. And she still got the On the uh on the failure and renew expired tabs, they do make a finding of committed. I would reduce that fine to 100. On the on the operating a uh, possessing a vehicle without registration, I dismiss that one. Their, whether they look at it or not is beside the point. The law requires that any car you drive. But the law requires that any vehicle you drive must be registered and lawfully registered in the state of Washington. If it's not, the person driving the vehicle at that time is responsible. Nope. Because that owner wasn't driving it at the time. Well, then, then you don't drive the car. All right. That is the finding. All right. Thank you. This is the finding of the court. Ma'am, if you, if you, ma'am, this is a courtroom. I made my ruling. I've heard enough. Thank you. Have a good day. You can go ahead and appeal it. There's an appeal process. You, okay. Thank you. Jose Manzano Avila. Mr. Manzano Villa, did you have insurance on the date of the ticket? Yes, I did. And can you show me that, please? Go ahead. Does the first one cover the Mazda too? Because I don't see it on here. This yeah. one, this one for uh, it says the Windstar. It's a Ford Windstar. Is is this one supposed to cover the Mazda too? Yes. But does it tell me that? Can you show that to me? This one covers the Mazda, the second one, but this one was on three, three. And this one has the Windstar and the Mazda and the Journey on it. So this one, this one would be a good form if we had it for the months prior. That one doesn't have the Mazda on it. Do you have another form, maybe? Well, because it was, um, it's like my mom's car too. So like her insurance was supposed to cover both her car and the insurance people. Um, I was supposed to be on there too. So I don't know if it's exactly. Mazda. She is indicating she has some information. Maybe you want to go ask her? Yeah. All right. Let me see.
So the insurance is actually, um, um, we were waiting on it to be sent to my mom. Um, and her actually, I, I was on the insurance, but it wasn't um, sent to her right away. So she had a, you know, all right, so what I would need is if you can get that uh, uh, from that insurance company telling them that you, me, you had coverage on 2-26-2022. Okay. And so I can give you a two-week continuance to do that. Okay. okay. And if you can't find it, then I would offer you the deferred finding. You pay $175, have no tickets for one year, and dismiss your case. Okay. Uh, is there any way I can do that? Yeah. Yeah. So 175, no tickets for one year, your case is dismissed, okay? And you don't have to pay it right away. Oh, um, can you get back there and do that? All right, she'll come back and do that. All right, thank you guys. She's gonna have you sign this and, and I'm going to look here, Joe. Is that one of yours? <laughs> 